Hello and welcome to our next video about standard elements. We will now leave the combined elements behind and come to the, let's call it, extended base elements. There is one base element which actually can be really, really annoying in control, in controls. The dead time element. Dead time element or DT element. I'll use this sheet here and write here dead time element. Or DT element. This actually is really an annoying thing. Uh, what does it do? What does it do? Of course, there is an, an input and an output, as usual. So if there is the element. There is the input. And there is the output. XO from T or XO from S and here we have XI from T or XI from S. What this DT element is doing is simply the output is looking exactly the same like the input. There is no difference in input and output, but it is delayed for a certain time. So if we do have, for instance, this is the input. This is xi from s from from t here we have the time here then xo is looking exactly the same but here we do have a certain delay time we are later okay but there is no change at all so there is this that time and then it looks exactly the same as the input and there is always always this delay time it will look exactly the same a copy of the input but a certain time later this explains why the formula this means this is of course XO, this was XO from T, to have this correct. And this XO from T is exactly the same legs like XI from T, but this dead time before. Remember when we talked about when we talked about the Laplace transformation. I told you something about time shifting, how time shifting looks like in Laplace area. Yeah? And I said time shifting in Laplace area looks like damping. Okay? So this means if I do Laplace transformation here now, there is this XO from S equals XI from S. So exactly the same, but now this time shift is a damping minus STT. And exactly this here is the transfer function. Okay, so the transfer function is EOS minus STT. This means 
for the frequency response we have e hoch minus j omega dt. That's interesting. Yeah. Remember, you can you can write a complex number as a plus j b yeah, components, yeah. and you can calculate out of this. There's the absolute value and there's the argument. Yeah. This here is exactly this form. So what is the absolute value of G? It's one, always. Yeah. And what is the argument of G? minus omega dt. This means the longer the d is, the longer it will be phase shift. It's, lo it's clear, right? If we wait here a long time, this phase shift here in the Bode plot is nothing more than a time delay. So it will simply grow with the dead time. Simply grow with the dead time. So what does it mean for omega zero? Yeah. For omega equals zero, the absolute value of j zero is one. Yeah. And the argument is zero degree. And for omega unlimited, the absolute value is still one, but the argument, I always do this, the argument is minus unlimited degree. Mm -hmm. So this is what can be really annoying here. Yeah. We will see when we're talking about stability of, of uh, control loops, that the argument is really, really important. If we do change something, it's clear. If we do change something on the input of the control system and the output is coming really, really late, then the stability is not that given because then I may be overreacting. Yeah? Let's think again of our car, of our speed controller. If the speed is not changing very fast or in a reasonable time, then the controller might overreact and say, throttle, 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 up, 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 more, 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 more. And suddenly then it is starting to change. Okay, it is starting to change. And meanwhile, the output of the controller has reached an amount which is not really necessary. Yeah? So we will overshoot. Okay, and then the controller realizes, oh, it's too much, it's too much, and will reduce, will reduce. Yeah? But this also takes quite some time until it's visible at the output. So, and the longer this time it takes, yeah, the, the the more this this control loop uh, is closer to instability, simply. Okay, and we are adding here nothing to the to the absolute value we're adding here just phase and this is annoying for stability really annoying so let's think about what could the jump response look like that's right here These are the formulas. What will the jump look like? There is a certain dead time. 
yeah? and then we will jump to one. And here in the jump response, we see exactly, we see exactly the dead time. Yeah? Of course, here in my example, this was fifteen seconds. Okay, dead time. Just shifted. How does the absolute value of the body plot look like? Remember, absolute value is one argument is minus omega tt. So absolute value will stay here at one all the time. What about the argument? Hmm? When do we reach, when do we reach, uh, it will simply grow. Yeah? There will be zero here and will grow, 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 grow. Yeah? Where would we hit minus 90? Yeah, this line. Where would we hit it? This here must be, if I say omega TD equals minus P half. P half is minus 90 degree yeah, in radiant. So, omega is p divided by 2 tt. Okay. Let's calculate, in our case, what it would mean. p divided by 2 times 15 seconds, 0 0.1. Okay. Here at 0 0.1, we reach minus 90. And now I just estimate, we could calculate this, of course, for different omegas. Yeah? And I, let's see, what do we have at 0 0.001, 0 0.0001, 0 .0001 multiplied by 15. Here we are at almost there. Yeah? What about 0 0.01, 0 0.015? Also almost there, zero dot one, zero dot fifteen. Ah, so, mm -hmm. of course, I have to calculate. I have to calculate two degree. Yeah. Eight degree. We are here. Here at 90 and at 1, we are already at 800. So you see, it's adding quite some phase. Whoop! Okay? Dead time element. Very, very annoying. Yeah? Especially this behavior here. This is okay. This behavior, ugh. we will see. Yeah. Dead times, I can tell you, dead times are for control. They are simply, yeah, they are like the dead shot. Yeah, if they are too long. They really, really influence instability a lot. Yeah. By the way, have I mentioned the influence instability? Yeah, I, I mentioned this several times because wait, well, it's uh, I think you got it. It's important. Okay, dead time elements you should really try to avoid in control systems. Okay. Next time we are talking about something surprisingly uh, similar to the dead time element. We are talking about the old pass element. Okay. Well, see, it behaves a little bit different. For this time, thank you very much for listening and goodbye.